creatures of duty, Captain. I've lived my life by it. Just one more duty to perform. This time we're going out with a bang. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 self-destruct scenes and sequences in movies and TV. Abort, auto-destruct sequence. For this list, we're looking at scenes from both movies and television. It always stops at one on the show. <laughs> in which a countdown sequence is started, and if left to its own devices, will blow something up when it reaches zero. Well, next time that happens, just say, Self-destruct sequence initialized, and then start counting down from 10. This doesn't include suicide bombings or just normal standalone bombs. We're talking about actual self-destruct mechanisms built into whatever's being destroyed. You've got to stop it! Is there any way to stop it? I can't! It's irreversible! Like my raincoat! And just so you know, there might be spoilers ahead. So, <sighs> spoiler alert! And before you ask, no, it is not lost on us that we're doing a countdown list about countdowns. Fine. Terrific. But remember this, you're getting my underwear bill, buddy. Number 10, optional extras, The Living Daylights. A decade after he ditched his Aston Martin for the sexy new Lotus Esprit, the 15th official Bond entry reunited 007 with the iconic brand, only to blow it up. As is his luck, the super spy finds himself in a car chase. But fortunately, his ride's equipped with some optional extras. We almost made it! After making a spectacular jump to escape the pursuing KGB agents, Bond abandons his vehicle and quickly decides that a clean getaway can only be accomplished with help from the car's self-destruct button. Come on, quick! Go! The ensuing explosion buys him the time he needs, but we don't want to be there when Q finds out about this. Glad I insisted you brought that cello. Number 9. Gonzo's royal flush goes down the drain, the Muppets. Hi, Gonzo. Uh, Kermit? Fozzie? This is a surprise. Uh, we need to speak to you. Having disbanded and gone their separate ways, the Muppets have all taken on new careers. Gonzo the Great, for example, has become a fabulously successful plumbing magnet. Anyway, I'm very busy. I've got 30 seconds. Go. However, Kermit wants to get the old gang back together in order to save the Muppet Studios from an evil oil man. And they need Gonzo's help. Gonzo, we're trying to get the old gang back together again. While at first the weird blue guy turns him down, his true feelings soon surface, thanks to Camilla. And the great Gonzo is back. Citizens of Earth, the great Gonzo is back. I pledge never to hold a plunger again. Fortunately, he's got a contingency plan for just such an occasion, in the form of the automatic destroy plumbing business button. Hopefully everybody got out okay. Number 8. Escape the Lair, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Smashing baby. You know the deal. You break into the lair of your arch nemesis to foil his plot, buttons get pushed, things get exploded, yada yada yada. No, oh, you don't? Launching the subterranean probe. Okay, we'll explain. After Austin successfully deactivates Dr. Evil's doomsday device in the nick of time, Dr. Evil makes his great escape via his big boy rocket. But not before leaving a trap for Austin and Vanessa Kensington. Six, five, With the base's destruction imminent, Vanessa and Austin make a run for it to the Shagwar with seconds to spare. Yeah, baby! No! Number 7. They Found Us, Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. It's a good bet the Empire knows we're here. Needless to say, after those pesky rebels destroyed the Death Star in Episode 4, the Empire was pretty pissed. Afraid there's not much left. What was it? Droid of some kind. I didn't hit it that hard. It must have had a self-destruct. An Imperial probe droid. Sending out probe droids across the galaxy to find the new rebel base. It was only a matter of time before one of them found something. 
You found something? Yes, my lord. That's it. The rebels are there. Unfortunately for the droid, what it found was Han Solo and Chewbacca. When the droid realized it was outgunned, it pulled its own plug and blew itself to kingdom come. But not before sending out a signal. Bad for the rebels, but good for us, since it resulted in the Battle of Hoth. We have a new enemy. The young rebel who destroyed the Death Star. Number six, it's better this way, The Walking Dead. We're heading to the CDC. Rick Grimes and his group of survivors finally reaches the CDC headquarters, where they think they might find a cure to the zombie infection. Test subject 19, someone who was bitten and infected and volunteer to have us record the process. What they actually find is Dr. Jenner, a man who's lost everything and who eventually reveals his intent to let the building explode, with all of them inside, offering them all quick and relatively painless deaths. HIT Skyapulse thermobaric fuel air explosives consist of a two-stage aerosol ignition that produces a blast wave of significantly greater power and duration than any other known explosive except nuclear. Oh, did we not mention? It's equipped with an automatic self-destruct function that detonates if the building runs out of power, so the deadly diseases stored there can't get out. Rick's group desperately tries to convince Jenner that life is precious and worth fighting for. Jenner's persuaded and lets them go, but stays behind himself to let the blast take his life. Number five, anything for junk food, Red Dwarf. We can't find the auto-destruct system. It's wired up to something, but we don't know what. Tell the cat. This unforgettable sci-fi comedy exudes British humor, and the result is this hilarious sequence. <laughs> the auto-destruct system within the next 20 seconds, those male sexual organs will be in orbit around the nearest planet. <laughs> when the ship's wiring goes haywire, the vessel becomes booby-trapped and the remaining crew members are told to not touch anything electrical. Self-destruct in 8 minutes, 10 seconds and counting. Why? Well, it seems the self-destruct sequence is wired to something, but the crew doesn't know what. As the search goes on, Lister uses a vending machine, which accidentally starts the countdown. A milkshake and a crispy bar. We should be playing poker tonight. That's going for a bit. Auto destruct sequence initiated. As the crew accepts their doom and braces for death, initiate self destruct. <laughs> Psych! Turns out the vending machine was wired to the timer and not the actual bomb which the computer removed years earlier and forgot to mention anyway. So where's the bomb? We haven't got a bomb. <laughs> I got rid of it ages ago. Why didn't you say? You never asked. Number four, it was an accident, Spaceballs. Thank you for pressing the self-destruct button. This ship will self-destruct in exactly two minutes and 45 seconds. In this epic sci-fi parody film, the good guys have managed to board the bad guy's ship, the Mega Maid. This leads to a Schwartz showdown between Lone Star and Dark Helmet, where Lone Star tries to disprove the villain's assertion about good versus evil. Now you see that evil will always triumph, because good is dumb. Ultimately, it's Helmet himself who ends up accidentally hitting his head against the self-destruct button. Thank you for pressing the self-destruct button. This ship will self-destruct in three minutes. Needless to say, hilarity ensues, as characters from all walks of life struggle to get to escape pods, and our heroes make their getaway in their flying Winnebago. This is your two-minute warning. This ship will self-destruct in exactly two minutes. Launch all escape pods as soon as they are filled! The insanity is exploited in peak Mel Brooks fashion, which means one thing. It's brilliant. This ship will self-destruct in 20 seconds. This is your last chance to push the cancellation button. Cancellation button? Hurry! Number three, farewell Nostromo, Alien. Danger. The emergency destruct system is now activated. When all else fails, it's time to blow it up. Mother! I've turned the cooling unit back on! Mother! The ship will automatically destruct 
in T minus five minutes. After the xenomorph creature comes on board the industrial mining ship, the Nostromo, this perfect predator systematically kills off every crew member it can find. The final survivor, Ripley, shows a great deal of strength, refusing to be killed by the beast. 29, Taking an escape pod, she sets the destruct sequence on the Nostromo. And flying into the unknown depths of space, she watches a beautifully titanic blast tear the vessel to pieces. Three, two, one. Number two, one ugly mother effer, Predator. This is the chopper! The xenomorph ain't the only perfect predator on movie screens. One ugly mother At the climax of this film, hero Dutch, already a pretty damn good warrior, really gets serious and manages to take down the Predator. I'm here! Kill me! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Kill me! But this ugly ass alien isn't going gently into that good night. Hell no. <laughs> the last thing this ruthless hunter does before his death is trigger a self destruct countdown timer on his wrist in an effort to take out his foe. Then, as Arnie gets away, he just laughs like a maniac as he's vaporized in a massive explosion. And we thought Schwarzenegger was badass. Before we detonate our top pick, we are both of us out of time. Here are some honorable mentions. We can get these last mothers! self destructing back off! Blue Boy Group, get out of there! We're right on top of them now! Owen, pull out! Pull out now! Pull out! Pull out! Get out of there! Pull out! Pull out! Implosion estimated in 10 seconds. Nine. Gwen, I... Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. See what this so called button does. Attention, atomic core set to overload. My bad. Number one Farewell to a Great Ship, Star Trek III The Search for Spock. Code zero, zero, zero. Destruct. The Star Trek universe is no stranger to self-destruct sequences, as these can be found in classic episodes like Balance of Terror and The Doomsday Machine. You ever hear of a doomsday machine? No, I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. However, we're choosing the dramatic example found in the third feature film installment. Destruct sequence is activated. Having already lost enough when a misunderstanding with a group of Klingon baddies turns sour, Captain Kirk doesn't want to let them capture the Enterprise as well. Kirk. The time runs out! So, pretending to concede defeat, Kirk and crew set off the ship's self-destruct sequence to ensure the deaths of their enemies. Six, five... Get out! Three, Get out of there! Two, Get out! One. Our hearts broke when we saw the destruction of the letters NCC-1701. But fear not, this was not the last ship to bear the name Enterprise. Do you agree with our list? Yes, absolutely. I do indeed concur wholeheartedly. What self-destructing devices did we miss? Interesting question. For more top tens with more explosions than you can count published every day. My God, Bones. What have I done? Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Have a nice day. Thank you.